YouTube, it's Stove Mods again, your Hobo Stove channel. I tried to review this the other day, and um, though it really makes a hell of a fire, it didn't work for cooking. Um, there's another video, maybe I'll include some material in this video, where you can see as soon as I put a pot on there, it didn't burn so well. So just for those who haven't seen this yet, the idea was just to make it out of a can and nothing more. So I left the bottom in for safety reasons. I used that as a grid and the holes, I, I clipped those parts or, or bended them inwards to just be able to put this in there. So, but I don't like that grid that much because this really needs lots of air and um, something like that is better. I just took chicken wire, folded it around a piece of cardboard that I removed and um, that is it. Works quite well. So, yesterday there was, this hole wasn't there these two holes haven't been there and I found out that just with a pot on it there wasn't enough space to allow the draft effect and it just didn't work so I fixed that and we'll try it again really the, the thing I figured out is a stove for cooking is not necessarily the best stove for just having a fire to keep your hands warm. So um, these are just two different things. So you really might consider that once you build a stove to have the right specifications. It took me almost no time to get a nice fire started in there, so let's start the test. As you can see, the fire survives. We're at 10 minutes, 25 seconds, and as you can see, the water starts to boil. Not extremely quick, but it works. Also going to tell you how much wood we needed once this has burned down. Burns down very clean. It's still glowing a little bit but you can see that works quite well. Um, I'm quite surprised it took us 150 grams to get water boiling within 10 minutes. Actually I'm quite amazed how little wood that is. That is about um, that, that much. So not a lot. Uh, usually of course I would have a lid on the pot to get it boiling quicker. But anyway I want to see how it starts boiling so I'm not using a lid. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up or down if you think that is appropriate. Um, and if you have any ideas of how to create an interesting stove, please let me know, maybe I can do that for you. Uh, by the way, I fixed that yesterday, it failed. I cut another hole in there and it actually worked quite well, um, on the other hand, to just have a fire it was better without any holes because you have a better draft the longer the closed cylinder is, but of course you have to make sure you have enough air intake. So, bye, see you next time.